Hey fam, welcome back again to another video you're not expecting, but I feel like you're expecting these. But I don't know which one I'm posting first because I made a video earlier before now. I was talking about um before you study BSc, Masters and PhD, watch this first and everything. So in that video, I said I will address everybody occupation by occupation. So today's video, I, don't, I need to be fast, then we soon for please don't spoil my video. Wait now. Okay, I have to be faster. So in today's video, I'll be addressing people that studied electrical, civil, and mechanical engineering. Electrical, civil, and mechanical engineering. Mm -mm, let me rearrange it. Electrical, mechanical, and civil engineering. The rest of you shift back. I'm not talking to you. The rest of you, uh, the rest of your engineering shift back because when we talk about those engineering in job demand, I be in high demand in this thing demand. The first one is electrical, the next one is mechanical, and the last one is civil. And even that civil is shaking. So I arrange it accordingly. This one is according to my research. I've searched um countries, job sites. I checked for UK, for US, for New Zealand, for Australia, for Switzerland, for which other countries did I check? I checked so many countries. So I use these countries as my guide. And like I used to say, before you do anything in this life, make sure your course is kind of global even if like i said in that video before you choose a course know your career path that okay i'm moving to uk with this course i'm moving to this so even if you're moving to uk with this course don't really allow your course to be like country specific because you can say you want to move to uk and uk did not work or when you get to uk you feel like okay they pay them better it's always good to like to be on top of the world right just study something in general so the first one is electrical the next one is mechanical I think mechanical come first. These two shall electrical and mechanical, they are dragging first position. It depends on the country. But electrical is everywhere. Whether um whether in the hospital, whether in the distant electrical, no they only they get wire. Electrical is everywhere. So the next one is mechanical and the last one is civil. Even this civil, even this civil, even this civil, it gets us B. And that's why I'm putting this last. Anyways, I will address everything so this is me telling you if you know you study any of these courses you know anybody that studied any of these courses or you know somebody that is about to study your husband your brother your cousin your sister your everything your this your that your eh. call them share this video with them share this video with them share this video with them before they make mistakes anyways let me tell you a short story before i continue my other brother you people know that i like to use my family to do examples so that you people know that i know what i'm saying my other brother our firstborn my mommy's son our firstborn, my other blood brother that they gave birth to him before me, the firstborn. He studied civil engineering in Nigeria. And of course, he had his BSc. And guess what? Of course, you know, say we will be first class babe in our family. He had his first class. As you sure? First class? Was it first class? I'd be second class upper. He had the two sharp, but I know say we know they disappoint in our house. He should have first class or second class upper. And because he studied civil engineering, you know, civil engineering is not a kind of, but I was explaining to that now that you have graduated, you start sending me money. That was how this guy looked for a job, but he did not see us. His village people following this boy. And that was when he left his school, he moved to Lagos. Then I used to have IBP. I was like, this boy, she you want to kill? Why did you move to Lagos? Lagos of all places. Lagos is this, Lagos is that. Take this boy, come back. There is no job in Lagos. I'm just trying everything that I can. You say, no, it's fine. It's because of job this guy moved to Lagos. So this guy was staying in Ibejuleki. That's where he was staying. He rented an apartment there with his money. And then, if you guys know, there is a Dangote refinery that is kind of close to that Ibejuleki or something. <laughs> that place that is like outskirts of Lagos. That's where he was staying. In his mind was, he would go and be volunteering in Dangote's we found that, and that's how you people do that in our life. Let, let me share not to. <laughs> they will go and be volunteering in Dangote's refinery. That at least when you are volunteering, hopefully, when there is job opportunity, that they will recruit you. But then, unfortunately for him, hmm, very sad story. They did not recruit him. In fact, I was I was even more bewildered than I was even more angry than him that. That thing or that anything that what will happen now? Can it come? Can it come? What happened? Nobody can. So you know, Nigeria is a person will get leg. After that one happened, I could not secure a job with Dangote, right? Huh, I don't like this thing. Why are you going down? I was maintaining freshness. Anyways, so after I could not secure a job with Dangote, right? So he tried to set up his own construction company, and it cost him millions of naira. 
Hmm. You know he has gained the experience. He has worked with Dangote, and even before he finished school, yeah, even that time that I sent him a CV, that I wanted to help him to apply for masters abroad, right? I've told you that me I'll be helping people to apply for this in abroad. Even after he sent me a CV, when he was in school, he built some buildings. I think he helped my dad to build some of his house. He built this thing. He was just doing all this volunteer work and everything. So he now wanted to set up his own construction company. But you know to set up a construction and that's something about civil engineering. It's a kind of restricted job because most civil engineering companies they are private owned. And in that private owned, they don't really recruit highly skilled civil engineering just because they want to save money. I'm telling you this just today. There is somebody that bought house in either UK or Canada and this thing. She built her house from scratch. And now I saw a video where she said she wants to sue. People that built the house. You know that you people, when you want to talk, you say Nigerian builders are this, Nigerian builders are for some of you that are abroad, you know that our builders are abroad, they can they can build nonsense. They can say where they build nonsense in Nigeria, is say where they build nonsense abroad. Let me tell you people. And that's the secret I'm just now. There's some houses that you stay abroad. You start seeing watermark in your house. You start they can build nonsense abroad. Let me shall tell you that one. For some of you that stayed up outside the country, you will know this one. So don't feel like it's only in Nigeria or Africa they used to build nonsense house or all this thing. Eh? Some they will build a house that flood will enter your house like this. You'll be like God when? Sorry, God why? Sorry. <laughs> so why I put that's why I put civil engineering in the last system because most civil engineering companies worldwide they're always privately owned or contractly owned. And in that view, just because they are logical, code, they don't want to share money. Hmm? They will not go and look for bricklayers. Same way in Nigeria. If I have a civil uh, a company now, construction company, to be with people, my dear, I will be the only civil engineer in there. The only people there, Baba Beji, Baba Kinikan, Baba Kinikan, they will be my assistants. And yes, that's it. In Nigeria, when you see people that build that, even people that built our house, they were not they, our first house. They were no engineers, they are Baba Beji, Baba Kinika, and the house is still standing since 25 years, about many years. The house is still standing, it did not fall. So, even your house in Nigeria, ask your parents who built it, not be engineer. Now, this Baba Beji, that Baba Kinika, that built the house. When I moved to this estate, let me use this estate and do an example. Let me move to this estate. I told you that this estate there, we have over 200 flats here. Are you guys hear me? Over 200 flats. In that view, this man. The landlord he gave the contract to a very wealthy company, Abi, yeah, company Shebi. So when we moved in, they gave us two months free. That ah, we moved in around uh, November, December. They said that okay, that two months is free. That is for us to check out the problem in this other. I uh, went to start counting January. My landlord is very nice, very sweet woman. They gave us free this thing, you know. So when I'm that's why they say ah, everybody that pay try to move in, you know that these constructors. Very rich people that so that because where this this is most houses when they construct the house, they always they always come from other city to come and construct house in another city that they are around though all the problem or let's check it so that they can do it once. When they tell me that is a big company that built it, she be my own is when I come, I should be hearing people that will be speaking spray spray. My dear, you see Baba Beja head yo, you see Baba Beja head yo. And that's what I'm telling you people now. It is still about beige your head. Even when you if you follow my lifestyle channel, you'll be seeing some of the video. I had a problem with my water heater, my um toilet this thing. Me, I know even to get problem. If you see some people's problems, some people's this thing was leaking. I God, I really thank you for this my apartment. This will be the apartment I will stay that I will not have plenty problem like other ones. Hey, I'm losing the light. So everything was going like that, you so when I now call them to come and repair. Ah, okay, auntie, what's the problem with you? I say, the toilet this and they show him to use why is your body are speaking. You know, these people they are baba, you know, this baba, normal baba, you that they how so that means the only educated person that probably I will say, probably, probably this civil engineering is the owner of what the company, the people that came to work, they are normal human beings. Do you guys understand? So, imagine in that view, in this type of um, the person that they gave this project to. Imagine my brother sending CV to this man. Please, I want to come and work in your company. How much do you want to pay? Because he has, you should be listening to because he has BSc, right? And then he'll be like, ah, I cannot pay you. When he knows that he can give Baba Peji after building how many blocks, give them 10K, 20K. Why will he come and pay you undergraduate that much? And the funny thing is, 
all these baba beji people they used to have experience than you that you went to school and that's the point i'm driving at i didn't know if it was not because it was my brother studying that course i knew that that civil engineering is is partially like a useless course imagine there are some courses that if you don't have leg oh man abroad don't study it and that's why i put it at the last you get as it be same way in uk that time i was trying to check if they sponsor for civil engineering in uk most of them are private owned companies and in that view they will really add um, um, so employ as um, bsc all this your bsc civil engineer they don't need it they only to go and look for indians as laborers they have what to do oh yeah do the block lay it like this do it like this oh yeah mount it up so before you go and study civil engineering or you have somebody that is considering it or this thing it's better you go and be and yes it's true most of the houses that me have stayed most of the houses that me have i don't know about anybody you most of the houses that me have stayed that people have built house the company can be a civil engineer but you see the laborers they are baba beji people there are people that they will just come all this aboki look at when you are busy the way they build us all these holes they used to dog sorry what's it called suck away now book the dog gun a yoga person cannot dog it so that's the same way abroad they'll just look for an indian because now them cheap manpower so if you are thinking of studying civil engineering that ah when you enter uk like this one of my version my dear one of us it one of us jack one of us yes she she have that one in mind and in that view if you are a civil engineer and you're looking for job prospects, UK should not even be in your list at all. I've told you, most companies in UK, they are this thing. And generally, overview. Talking about civil engineering, most are <laughs> privately owned. And in that view too, those private owned companies, they already secure their space with the government. They've done all the same way they used to do hands like this. They used to do it abroad. So even when you want to start up your own as a good person of Nigeria, before you start seeing contracts, you have to start from all these people that will come and say, Emmy to build shop, Emmy to raise ball who up, Emmy to come and blast up this place because it is very difficult. And that's why I'm using my brother to do example. He invested money in his company. In fact, they even scammed him. Then I used to see his WhatsApp this thing. He will carry some. Ah, that boy is very hard working. We are hard working in our house. He will, uh, uh, I used to see when they will bring sand for him. In that bedroom, you know, there is land there. To come and drop sand for him, drop clinical, he will be doing video and be doing the normal advice. We are building clinical. At, he had contracts to deal. Mm -hmm. Everything was going to when Corona happened. They come to my brother. Ah, Corona happened. Everything just went. So the person he paid money for for contract or to bring sand or to bring gun night. I don't even know how they take explain that thing. They say Corona till now we did not see money to cut. That time it was the, a very dark moment because everybody was going through something in our house. My brother was facing his own, me, I was facing my own, my mother, my father was doing his own. Everybody, it was like the darkest moment. My mom went to borrow money for him to, you know, because Dangote did not recruit him, there was no money. My mom went to borrow money from cooperative. If it's me now, my mom will not borrow money for me. She went to, you know, mothers they used to have soft spots for boys, but if it's my father now. <laughs> Shall leave them, leave them, is their way. If it's my father now, but if it's me that I say I, want, I need money for business, she'll be asking me a question. Can you come, can you come? But because it's my brother, she not ask anything. As if it's me that they scam with that money now. Ah, I'll not even hear what they say. She'll be wanting me come and shake me. But because it's my dad, brother, because my man and woman, they're like this. They do not see. But if it's my father, he will not ask me too much question. But my mother, that's when she will turn to jump. Anyways, as I was saying, Javi. So that was a did this thing. Hey, I'm losing the light. But I'll finish this gist. So the business did not actually work out, and my mom had to loan money to set up. My my mom loaned money for him to set up his business, hoping that okay, once he's stable, we'll return the money. But at the business, at the clinic, at the person that I pay for contracts. And now, because of the way of where my money, my mom went to go and borrow the money, there is actually high interest rate. So my mom is paying the rent back even till now. My mom is paying the money back. My brother is paying back. Yeah, it was really they used to say his bamule lanta. The money was more true. It is very much, but I'm sure one corner that as many people are giving me this money to buy camera for YouTube now. Baby, you know that normal 
whether this thing that should be but i i really feel for him more. i really feel for him that this thing i because then i was really happy the way it was i was seeing his whatsapp videos and everything and that was one of the things i advised him against before that this one they are waiting for dangote to equip you at least that's something it was just doing everything like that the business don't work out and then i had to leave lagos and that was when then i was trying to travel out so see that time eh, you even think village people is following my brother and that's why i used to say disappointment is a word is a blessing then i told you that i was helping him to apply for masters and even the tofu it was ready even when i wanted to travel they scammed him very, they, they are just coming in very way same way they scammed him they scammed him very way he shall leave lagos he went back to our village and that's one thing i used to tell people once you have an open mind then you just have an open mind this thing so it felt like okay lagos is expensive and everything like let him just try to gather his life and everything and that was why they gave my dad a slot ha! why will you do this to me let me go to the living room so i couldn't finish my video <laughs> and now i'm starting again the weather is looking like let me just continue anyway i stop i'll change the figure i'll continue tomorrow so like i was saying yesterday so he actually moved to a local city which was our village and he's trying to start life afresh and all of that so my dad actually got this slot in his workplace right and then he actually of course gave it to his, his son so he sent his documents and everything and all of that and it was recruited right i know that people will be like eh, now because he did get person to get him the job he asked somebody to get him the job that was why he got the job yeah you are right but then i want to buttress my point that was why i told you guys the story so after he was employed and everything was going on well so the last time we spoke or when we spoke when we were talking and everything and he was like telling me that he really thank god that his traveling did not actually work out because where he, he currently works like i told you he had to move from his school to lagos things did not work out for me in lagos he left lagos i went to a very bush city so that was when then i gave my dad that slot and then he has to start working in one local place like that that's how i'm saying this story oh. that's how i'm saying this story so when we were talking it was like it really thank god that that travel thing did not work out that imagine if you had traveled out that he don't really feel like abi he didn't really feel abi he didn't see that abi he didn't feel like whatever is hanging now maybe it will be any that much or the benefit or the freedom in that is there guys when you're working with <laughs> When you're working with government, Nigerian Nigerian government, your life has been made. We all know that your life has been made. Aside, you're working with healthcare and everything. Once you're working in all this freelance, this thing, if you like come to work, if you like don't come to work, if you like this thing, and especially if you're living, working in all those bush bush parts, you know, if you're working in a government office like Lagos, Abuja, it's easy for them to come and come and check people that do not come to work. But you see all those local parts, yeah? Once the president or governor is coming, the president is coming, everybody will go to work and be normal. Do I see Everybody will disappear. Do you understand that? So it was like, even the freedom he felt and everything, he doesn't really go to work, except if they have contract to do and everything. You can't do that abroad. They pay you based on your pay. Whereas in Nigeria, in government hospitals, sorry, in government organizations, come to work, whether there's contract, whether there's no contract, your salary is fixed. So where I'm actually going now, right? Okay. Aside that, right, he now told me that aside the time that, okay, okay. And that thing is, I asked him how much was his rent. He said his rent was, is it 40,000 naira per year? 40,000 naira. And this 40,000 naira, he did not even wish anything in his, in his salary. I tell you, the guy in the village, one local place like that, one, one bush part like that. But then, he just had to do it, just to feel, okay, the things get better. And then, okay. So when we're not talking that, okay, when we're not talking, I just keep saying okay. So when we're not talking, right? So he now said, he was not telling me that salary aside though, that sometimes when they go for feed work, like when they go and work, like because government is a government construction company, right? So when the government actually award them a contract, oh, come and build this primary school, come and build this secondary school, or build this something or anything, they used to add money, not him, you know, you just enter. The yoga used to add money. For example, let me show you reduce it. For example, if they say they should come and build one small thing, and they say, okay, this thing is 200 naira, the yoga can had to say it's 1000 naira or 15. So the thing is, the yoga is hugger. We share from the money. 
the person that awarded the contract, the person that submitted the contract, the person that said they should, whatever is this, thing, at least 1,000 naira will get to his ogre, right? In that 1,000 naira, his ogre will now call him and other people in the office that, oh yeah, we are going to feed, we are going to this place to go and build this one, blah, 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 blah. And they will do the normal cost estimate, you buy cement and everything. And then after that, then the ogre will not take maybe for example maybe like TV on general, then not give them like hundred. You not take from that one thousand and still give them extra. You know the contract is two hundred naira, and then we have extra eight hundred. So the ogre can take like four hundred. So the many four hundred, you not share it with them at the feed with other people that are building it. Do you guys understand the story? So even if let's just even say government is even hoing him. He's getting money from when he actually go to the feed to actually go and construct. Aside that, he has benefits. If he like goes to work, if he like go to work, he's earning money. And that benefit is his cost of living, his cost of this thing. He's not spending money for rent or money for anything. He's just basically enjoying his life. So what I'm trying to say is, I know some people might feel like, oh, it was because he got a slot. Yes, it was because he got a slot. But assuming he just got that slot based on he used my dad's influence, the highest thing he would be doing, if he was just a normal person that is dependent, was just that he would just be in the office and be waiting for salary, and that's it. But then, from what he told me that his ogre actually even used to use him to supervise other people, that's because he has had experience, and that is where I am going to. That is where I am going. So in that view, even when the other guy is giving people, other people, 20, 20 naira, take 20 naira, they can give him like 15 naira or even 17 naira because the other guy, his own other guy is using him to supervise other people. You, do you guys understand? Because he has BSc and he had, not just BSc, he has experience. Like I told you, when he was in school, he built, he was part of those that built my dad's house. He built other houses uh, in, his, in his school area. And even at that, he left to Lagos when I told you he was volunteering, he was doing ocean free for Dangote. That they did not requit him last class. I told you guys, he was just working there. They did not requit him. He was just doing it, hoping that. And even at that, when they did not requit him, he did not still give up. He tried to set up his own company and tried to start it till he was scammed. And even if he was scammed, he did not give up. He's now traveled to one local place to start doing, to start starting this thing before he now got the opportunity. So imagine if he didn't build himself. Because there's a difference between even if when God wants to bless somebody, eh, when God wants to bless and make your blessing to shook somebody, eh, you yourself, you have to take a step and, and bless yourself. Eh. So when ble God bless you now, come, ah, 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 you deserve him truly, truly. Like I used to tell people, God is not a magician. He will only bless the work of your hand. So assuming... And I know that... He used my dad's slot, but then even at that, he might not have gotten this job if his this thing was not really I don't know. But what I am just saying, like actually, hey God, I'll continue this video again tomorrow. <laughs> so what I'm saying, okay, what I'm trying to buttress now is the experience he gave himself. So most of the people that have known that have sent me email that have made that studied mechanical, civil, and electrical engineering. 98% of them, they don't have experience. When you ask them, why don't you have experience? Why you say, no, you know, there's no work in Nigeria. I have to work in the bank. Most of them are actually working in the bank. That's the funny thing. Most of them, they are working in the bank. If my brother wanted to work in the bank, it's easy for them to just, because, because of where my dad works, ah, the bank manager would not want to lose him. They would just see him to slot somewhere. If it was to work in the bank, my brother would have worked in the bank. But then, he saw all those opportunities and decided to volunteer in his field of work. So most electrical engineering people that me have seen, electrical, mechanical engineering, they don't always have experience. They're always working in the bank. When you get to the bank and you see your bank, this thing, ask them, what did you study? Electrical engineering, civil engineering, mechanical. Most of them, they're always in the bank. And those that are not in the bank, they are in one irrelevant field. So when you ask them, they'll say, there's no job. There's no clinical. It is normal. Even outside the country, when you graduate, you don't have a job. Most, 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 country will not really want to give a fresh graduate a job because nobody has that time to tutor you nobody has that time to be training you even when you see a job that say no experience is required when they see somebody with experience they watch you with the person just imagine if i open a shop now and two people come and send cv 
don't to apply somebody just somebody um is actually an ex-employee from like maybe shop right and then that person did not even have an idea at all which one do you think i will quit the person from shop right now because i now not talk too much so no but no no company wants to talk too much that's one thing you should know so whether you have your first class whether you have your uh everything in check bsc everything no company wants to talk too much so from the moment you are writing your jam or you are entering school you are starting first year second year just start volunteering there is no ready made job for you some of you you finish electrical mechanical and everything we the believe that we the believe and hope that you want to work in wiring company there's this popular wiring company common or something right all this red and black company that produce wire they cannot recruit you it is not possible you don't have any experience and in those engineering experience the first part even when i made example of the engineer that built this our landlord app if you ask him where, where was your first experience he will tell you that he did also free so when you start in life you have to first do a free don't come and wait for government to do give you any job and that's what i'm telling you so if you know that you've not entered uk because some of you are going for miraculous for some of you that have sent me email you people are going for all this you are usual hypocritical masters you don't need masters for electrical job i don't need to talk them. mechanical civil mechanical civil electrical you don't need masters even that ps even that bs where you get gun is too much but then just hang it there the way you go and do your masters on one year look for a technical school in nigeria or your own country pay maybe 50k or whatever pay i'm going to be doing this thing and aside that, you can just look for all this electrician shop or this thing. I'm going to be doing also free for them. You know, this thing will be like a job. Most of you actually used to feel like, eh, UK is a land of opportunity. Abroad is a land of opportunity. I have told you, nobody wants to stress themselves. You will see some job description, they will tell you minimum two years. And I've told you that even that BSc for electrical, all this electrical or engineering, it is, it, it is a hands on experience, right? It is a vocational course. Not, not not an academic course so you'll be surprised that even when you get to some engineering company i'm not going to about nigeria when you get to some engineering company you ask somebody hey i'm losing the light again when you ask somebody what did you study the person will just tell you hey i just went to vocational school one year two year and they had the experience they will even be your senior that's how it works abroad they don't care about your quality so whichever bsc or degree you have is for immigration purpose maybe if you want to do express entry and like i told you that i've checked all the requirements for these countries i went to new zealand i checked their um trade qualification <laughs> for example in countries like new zealand australia and everything they actually call the call this kind of engineering job trade they call it trade so in that trade i checked their qualification the requirement that they actually need for license checking what they actually need for license the only thing they said is for international they need at least maybe one or two years experience then they need your vocational qualification or equivalent bsc will not give you an edge to get a job abroad it will not it will not they bother about your experience so before you go and do one hypocritical masters before you go ask the first reason of you going as a bsc to study mechanical electrical or civil engineering was for you to be to work in this field right so now you are trying to change some of you are even trying to change career now just because you feel like you didn't get an engineering job you will get real good pay real good pay with engineering jobs and they are in high demand they are in high demand they are well paid in fact you don't need to stress yourself just close your eyes go and volunteer so if you're an electrical engineering person look for an electrician shop or go to a vocational school in nigeria but then even in vocational they will still tell you this thing. so it's better to look for a, this but then you can go for a vocational school there are a lot of vocational training schools in nigeria or your own just type it vocational schools in your city vocational this thing that is your best bet you don't need masters you are just wasting money and some of you will waste as high as for example now i've heard um some people's proof of fun now to travel to the uk they pay as high as four percent maybe like 500k for money to sit in their account for 20 days that 500k just carry like 50k for me and go use to go to a technical school or just go and meet one electrician that is beside your house that electrician that is come maybe to connect why just be his house boy not house boy tell him that you want to be following him even if you are working you can be doing it every saturday every sunday but it's not really enough time or this thing just be following him 50k guy is too much to for it to because the things when you get to uk like, it's not easy to get volunteer experience outside your own country. 
it is noisy. Nobody is ready to talk. Even when you want to volunteer, they will tell you there is no space because of your skin. So they will always take you or pity you is when you actually have experience. So that's one thing that you don't know. And that's why I use my father as example. And now it's even thanking God that he was happy the travel did not work out. Now, if he wants to travel to any country of his choice, he can because his money is there. And the thing is, even when he travels, if he, he will sleep with his two eyes, nobody is saying, eh, one hour per work, one clinic, nobody is rushing him. So your best bet, this is not me telling you to stay in Nigeria. It worked for my brother, does not mean it does not work for my brother. But then, what I said about his story was how he had to go from a top city to a lower city just for him to be able to do this. And then, even while he was in school, he was able to actually gain experience. So you cannot carry your value of electrical engineering, civil engineering, and then you don't have experience. If you have the experience, apply for work. But then, like I said, except civil engineering it will be kind of difficult to get a job as a civil engineer from inside your own country especially to uk most uk companies that do civil engineering they're actually private companies so if you're actually a civil engineer countries excuse me i'm making another video about that about countries actually recommend for you that you can get job easily from your own country to the but forget uk it is rare to actually get engineering job in uk but then regardless of anything, once you know that you are in the engineering field, whether you are studying currently as an engineering student or you're about to be, start volunteering. Start doing no show free. And now, ASU is actually on strike. Go to a technical school. In fact, technical school, no? it's not just for all this wiring company, all this uh, electrician that used to come to you and say, ah, I beg, make I follow you, go work. They will be teaching you work. In fact, that's even the best thing to learn. Even if you still go and meet a NEPA official, but never that one their own is high comments just look for any decent that that is your best bet when you've had like maybe one or two years experience if I, not uh, one or two years experience depending if i want to get like one year experience right start applying to job you will get job from inside your own country electrical work is in high demand because you can work anywhere you can work in automobile you can work in wire production you can work anywhere forget our bs your bs is not going to do anything for anybody you're not going to go to the fashion and come and we eh, are connect positive and negative together. We are I'm very thin, especially in Nigeria. BSc, BSc is just BSc. It's only classroom that you people know. I'm sure that people that even study electrical, the only connection you did is maybe you take all this big tiger battery, then you put that blue wire, connect it like this. Hey, then you not put bulb. Oh, you can't touch light. That's the only particle you can do. So when you're doing a course that involves particle. Start practicalizing with yourself. Don't wait for your school to post you for an internship. Don't wait for your school to post you for this thing. So you working in the bank, working in any company that is not relevant to your feet, it is not an excuse. Volunteer. Learn how to do a show free. A show free. So that is your best bet. And that is what I have to come and say. So because I've seen a lot of email, I'm a mechanical engineer. So if you're a mechanical engineer, your own is even the sweetest. Just look for Boda Wale, Boda Tunde, a mechanic shop. I know it's a dirty job, but trust me, you head, mechanic, you even have two heads. You can work as a mechanical engineer or you have to work as a truck driver. Because from there, you learn how to drive and can learn how to drive truck. Just look for a mechanic shop. But that was easy. Before we buy a man, she shall. You'll be like, ah, you walk away, if you walk away, leave her away, I want to volunteer. Start doing it. If any of your classmates make this stuff, yeah, look at you, you are first class, you are wearing dirty job. Tell them, please, do you have any other job for me? If you have any other job for me, be cool, come and give me. But if you don't have any other job for me, please, koshi dale. So just take your time. Just volunteer. Just, just do it from your mind. And once you get like one year experience, even less than one year experience, you can start actually start applying for a job. And once you get like one year experience, because like I told you, I checked, um, I checked even UK, I checked New Zealand, I checked Australia, I checked USA. And these countries, they are the high paying countries for electrical mechanical and civil engineering right so i check them you don't need the qualification to actually register with your body there are some countries that they don't even have bodies that govern them like uk you can work as an electrician i'm not sure there's a governing body that is governing there so once you just have your experience in fact uk will even take you with six month experience uk will take you with three month experience but it's always good to actually have this thing but then so that's your best bet if you know you're a mechanical engineer or electrical don't travel to go and do masters. You're wasting your money. You're wasting your money. Even after you do that masters, you will not get a job. You are wasting your money. Come on, let me send you my account number. Come on, dash me. I know that whatever I say now, it will not make any sense to you. But then when you get to UK, 
when you finish your master's, when you go to your graduate or permit, don't worry, that reality will now down either. Ah, this girl should talk come So, BSc, master's, or this thing, they are going overboard. You don't need it. You don't need it. They prefer technical schools. They prefer technical plus experience. So, keep your money, save your money. And if you know that your job is too tight and it should be difficult for you, I don't know if you know you've saved a whole lot of money like enough money you can just close eyes if you know you, the, your job will not like to do part time you can just quit the job and just can be volunteer and just close eyes for one year if you know you are you are very prudent in spending because even when you travel to uk i'm going to be doing 20 hours power it's not as if the, the job is going to feed you uh, or your entire family member uh -huh. yes your 20 hours power because uh, the part time work you'll be doing you still use it to pay your tuition. You still use it to pay for accommodation. It's not as if you save uh, better money before. Yeah. You, the only thing is they will just say, ah, this guy is in UK. This guy is abroad. Finish. So if you know your work will actually be a detriment, like you don't have time to go and volunteer, you can actually quit the job. I just close the eyes. I just do it like for one year. And then apply for a job. But you going outside to go and study masters in the view of getting a job. As an electrical person with masters even if village people pray for you you won't get the job and another thing is the thing is maybe after your masters and you don't get the job in your relevant field you start thinking of getting job in another field that's when you now start from square where you can start thinking of where you get the experience of that job abroad works with experience so the only job you can get easily without experience is care, care job. And even that care job, they are very selective. They prefer people that know. Because I tell you, there's no company that wants to talk too much. Nobody wants to talk too much. They, they will tell you no experience in there. We will we'll, we'll teach you and everything. Because when they tell you they will train you, in the next three months, you might not be able to work on your own. So you have to be doing shadow shifting, shadow shifting. Somebody will be training and everything. No, but no company has time for that. So the thing is, when you have the experience and they just do teach you the normal company policy it may be less than two weeks you start working on your own so when you see job description of no training is required you'll be taught to the king nascamo nascamo they will pick somebody with the experience over you so keep your money for your masters and volunteer just close your eyes i know it's not easy close your eyes. and that's one of those things too i'll be doing like i told you guys i am going back to school and in fact, I've never known the school that I'm going. I'm already looking for hospital that I'm starting my volunteer work. So follow my lifestyle channel. I stay, guys. I don't just talk based on because I want to talk. Miga, I'm starting my volunteer work. I never get admission. I never even know school where I want to go. But I don't get target that even if I don't get admission, I know say I don't volunteer for uh, this thing. So at the end of my education, I'll know that when I calculate all the years of my experience, it's even more than this thing. Let me now see who will not employ me. So in that view, it's people that don't have experience that used to go for masters. It's people that don't have experience or they are confused or they don't even know what to do that is going for masters. Don't go for masters because everybody is going for masters. Because I used to tell you people, there are so many people in the UK. There are a whole lot of people in the UK, right? That went to study masters and now they are using their postgraduate work permits. Anytime from now, they will come back to meet us in Nigeria. Why? Because they did not get the job. Staying in Nigeria, eh? does not make it difficult for you to get a job. Being in the UK or in any of these countries does not make it easier for you to get a job. There are so many jobless foreigners. No, not jobless foreigners. There are so many foreigners that do not actually get a, a sponsor to. They don't get the companies to actually sponsor them. Yeah, there are so many foreigners. And that's why so many people are using their postgraduate work permits. Even till now, they've not gotten a sponsor. Why? No experience. So now look at it. So imagine I'm actually a tier two sponsor. I want to recruit somebody now. And then you study electrical, civil, or whatever. And then you submit your job application. You have BSc, you have master's, you have PhD. And then you want me to sponsor you. Which experience do you have in electrical? Nothing. Which experience do you have in mechanical? Nothing. You can't even change battery. You can't even open boots. You don't even sabi drive car. I will not waste my tier two sponsor on, on you. If it's, if it's you, will you waste it on yourself? If it's you, will you waste it on yourself? That's just the reality. That is just the reality that nobody is talking about. There is no employer that will sponsor you without an experience. There is no company that wants to talk too much. Even when they say, no experience is needed. So I will use my tier 2, my license to sponsor you. Then after you come, I will not be wasting my saliva. I come and be saying, okay, this is how you do this one. 
do you, do you, I hope you know that that tier two sponsor sponsorship is not free. Sure, you know that I'm paying for it. So after paying for it, I'll come and use my salary and everything. I'll come and waste my time to be training you. When I can easily get people that have experience that I will not even talk too much. I'll just say, eh, hey, she be you've you know how to change battery, I'll be eh. So now that battery, instead of putting the, the floor, just raise it out. But then you you don't have experience. And I say, remove the battery. You don't have to remove battery, disconnect it here. Yeah. Nobody will do that. Nobody. And that's just the bitter reality of it. There are none of these people on, online are talking about. So take your time to think very well before you waste that money for masters. Before having masters is not equating to experience. And that's why we have MVQ qualification. To pick MVQ over, 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 over again. Over academic qualification. You are not going to the company to come be speaking English. They need hands on experience so when you're talking about tier two you can get a job in the uk or this thing and then if you're feeling like if you go outside the country okay you get a job in your relevant feed that's as he said the same thing it is hard for you to get a job in your relevant feed without an experience it is only care job that will take you and that's because it's actually like a dirty job it is very difficult even when you see an electrical company and you feel like ah, I want to come and apply. The only thing you can do is receptionist. And in that reception, you cannot see anything. So if this place is vacant and I see, need somebody to be connecting wire together, and you don't have experience of connecting wire, hey, company in the middle of your job, it's not possible. So it is very difficult to actually get a job, even a part-time job, in your relevant field if you don't have the experience. The only job you can get without experience is care job. And even with that care job, hey, hey, even with that care job, that means that employer, what is that mugidi, what is that mugidi, it's very difficult. So before you go for all these hypocritical masters, keep your money in your account. Just look for one corner, go and volunteer. At least, I told you, if you are targeting UK, UK can take, depend your six months, one year, close your eyes, everything is over. Apply for work and you don't even have to be UK. I've told you that once you are just done with your one year, just go to Australia Trade Qualification License for International or New Zealand. This will be no one job that for, for all this engineering thing. Just register with your body. I'm making another video on that. Child. Just register with your body. In fact, before you there's not even the registry itself. Just start looking for, once you've had the experience, just start looking for a job. Is your company that will even do the this thing for you? So I don't know. That's just the small thing I say. Because there are so many mechanical people outside, outside, outside the country. Mechanical, electrical, and everything. Last, last, they are not working as a carer. So what's not the essence of going for masters? What's not the essence? But no, you want to see snow. Can't see snow. Can't see snow. That's what I said. Come and take people. So guys, if you like and enjoy this video, I see my next video. So all those mechanical, electrical, civil. Civil is more of maybe professional, but electrical and mechanical, they are vocational courses. They are not academic courses. So once you've had your BSc, it's okay. And if you've not had your BSc, or if you are still in the process of having your BSc, I don't say you should drop out though, but for my research, since ASU is on strike, if you're in Nigeria, just cut corner, go to a vocational training school, or go to a hair tech. Sorry, just go to a vocational training school. One year, two year. You are done. So it is more of a vocational course, not academic distance. Nobody needs your first class. First class is good, but we don't need it. We want to know if you'll be able to join wire together and it's not spark. We want to know if you'll be able to repair this thing. We want to know if you can connect all these skinny companies. Anyways, thanks for watching and I see my next Ah, I forgot. Electronics engineering. Yeah, electronics engineering. So it's either electrical slash electronics engineering. I see that one too. I see that one too. They're actually in high demand, especially in countries like New Zealand and Australia. So in that electronics engineering, you can go and be volunteering for maybe people inside a computer village or people that is repairing for. You just lower your pride because that's your job. And if you feel like the job is too dirty, which most high paying jobs, they are dirty jobs. That's what you should know. Most high paying jobs that are in high demand, they are dirty jobs. 
there is no job that you will do tie like this and everything that is high paying so most dirty jobs are the ones in high demand and then most dirty and heavy job are the ones in it so you were looking at oh you want to work in a place that you just sit there in the office stay inside ac and everything my dear stay in your own country stay in your own country because i already ready to be born so guys thanks so much for watching today's video ah thank god i was able to finish this video I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.